How's it going guys? My name is Graham. This is Legend of Keepers. A quick reminder that it is an early access, so maybe things won't be entirely representative of the final game, but you can go and purchase it and play it right now. Some people might be familiar with this, that couldn't have run- some people might have ran together so much. Some people might be familiar with this game from a prologue that they published at some point last year that acted as a free demo to introduce people to the concepts of the game. Now the full actual game is available. People will have to visit the Grungeon. <laughs> Basically the idea is that you were hired as a dungeon manager and that you were trying to keep the heroes at bay. Dungeons Company. As you saw on the job posting, your main task is to protect the treasures we keep in our dungeons. We don't have much time to spend training you, so please keep up. I didn't want to interrupt this lovely Cyclops, but there's like screams and sounds of torture going on in the background. Heroes it's quite the ambiance. to try and take our treasures. The marketing team has worked hard to promise gold and glory to these idiotic adventurers. We have a little time before they get here, so let's place our traps and our employees to prepare a defense. It's funny to think of them as being employees when they're like horrible monsters. That guy's straight up got an arm cut off already. Sulia. There's also Thok Hall and Risan. You can totally, you can like see all their different skills, their resistances, their health and mana, strengths, weaknesses, speed, all that sort of stuff. So I have a trap, a crystal ball, which I guess is summoning that demon, uh, a triage of, of horrible orc and crazy demons, I don't know, there's like a skeletor and a vomit beast, whatever that is, and then the master Maug. So I'm, for now we're just placing a trap. Let's we'll chuck, chuck that on the ground, shall we? Oh, there's a bone catapult. Perfect. I don't really think that would do a lot of damage morale. That's exactly, that's exactly what I would have pictured. Is that they would be a little demoralized. In every dungeon, you can use it to ambush the adventurers with one of your favorite spells. So did that apply? Did they go through the catapult? Did it attack them? Because I didn't see Some anything. Some rooms are dedicated to combat. This is my favorite bit. Make sure you analyze each group of adventurers. Your employees are counting on you to prepare an effective strategy. Attacks, resistances, all that sort of stuff. So I, I have, oh, under, under the trap I had the bone catapult. Under whatever that is I have my own options, spells, monsters, and masters. So it's not that I can summon all three at once or anything like that. Noral, Dofidim, and Kendall. Kendall the Vomit Beast. And it shows you which position he's able to attack. He can attack the front and the back. Or does that is that where he has to be to attack from? It's like kind of got some darkest dungeon stuff going on there. Well, I'm going to stick Noral in the front because he's big and terrifying. Uh, you can go in the middle there because... Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I do want to keep you there you can go and I'm I guess I'm just following their presumably recommended pattern I'm sitting here thinking to myself as if I'm strategizing that's such a strange okay now we actually get to see them go through it Ew. <laughs> that is kind of nasty I'm glad to be able to see that animated we got like Nosferatu on the walls there that's gonna wig people out a little bit Morgu is uh, a centaur, I didn't realize that before. I thought he was just a regular, angry person. Show no mercy applies enraged to the next group of monsters. Damage and morale dealt increased by 30%. Oh, that's cool. Like, it flies out of the, the next room coming up. Like, you can see a burst of magic energy. bullying these insignificant humans. No reason work can't be fun. You just can, toss of course, some insults. kill them or terrify them so much they'll flee like peasants, as you see fit. Don't forget that in battles, the fastest combatants act first. Right. The tossing insults reminds me of, like, the end of IT Chapter 2. You just gotta be mean. It's a viable strategy. Wow, that did, like, no damage. That must have been, like, a, a debuff or something, right? Because it did next to nothing. I legitimately wasn't certain if I got to, like, play. <laughs> I thought that guys would kind of automatically do their own stuff. Like, I guess I'm largely uh, auto-playing the game. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage, too. Can I switch to the area thing? It's, it's going to make me fireball you? Oh, that, 
did a lot of damage too. This poison is no good. Everyone, I need your morale to be a lot lower. You guys are looking way too brave and battle ready. What's his name up front here? Thock Hall? He's, he's losing his shit. His morale's toast. Just totally hoofs it out of there. That's kind of what I expected. Ah, uh, they managed to kill my vomit ghost. But I'll be able to kill their archer, no problem. Oh, damn. So some problem. It didn't go great. Somehow Sylvia made it through despite only having the one arm. Just chucked a, chucked a knife straight at his knees and he's got another knife already? How many knives does this, does this guy have? Whiplash, 80 physical, regenerates the master's life by 20% of damage dealt if the target is affected by bleeding, which I don't think he currently is. Enslavement, 20 air damage, applies bleeding. And minus morale. I could probably just chase him straight out of there, honestly. Oh, 75 out of 120, so not that easy. I'll enslave him first, get some bleeding going on. And then this guy doesn't stand a chance, because now I'm going to heal myself with his his blood. You did it! I knew from the start Those that you had potential. Are badass. Know that here in Dungeon's Company, we reward talent and value that is ambition. A lame name. Shoot for the moon. And so your training ends. I'll see you again next year for your annual evaluation. I have a full year. If you do a good job in protecting our treasures. You'll get the promotion you deserve. Two things. They are saving up all their imagination for coming up with weird, uh, intricate traps and things like that. And also just stabbing people with knives. That doesn't require a whole lot of imagination. But someone had to come up with it. There was no one left over assigned with, like, marketing purposes to come up with Dungeon Company. And I have a full year before evaluation? Can you imagine getting hired for, for a job? And then... They gave you, like, I don't know, the quickest one-hour thing. I Here's where everything is. Here's how your job works. I will see you in one year. Collect your paychecks, and we'll just take it on good faith that you're doing a good job. So I have the Slave Holder, the Enchantress, and Engineer. So right now, you only ha I only have the Slave Holder. At level 10, I'll have the Enchantress, cool wood guy there. And the engineer, ooh, they have like a little little gyrocopter drone, and they have kind of like predator hair going on, but also like a planet of the apes face and a Kratos thing, and then like I don't know, splinter cell headgear. There's a lot going on in the engineer, but I can only uh, use the slave holder for now. That's fine, cause he was kind of hardcore. I, I dig it. Oh, leveling him up and everything too. Info not available quite yet. Each time a monster is defeated, grants 10 to 20% chance that the master gains one shell, reducing damage. The master gains enraged. One out of two. So I, I already have that? No, once I level it up to one out of two. Gains enraged, one, two. Each time he takes damage, damage and morale dealt increased by 10%. Intimidation deals four, eight additional morale. And I'm just not calculating those numbers properly. It's been a long week. When a hero is killed by a monster, grants 10 to 20% chance that the group of monsters gain enraged. Oh, so when I kill the heroes, there's a chance my guys get even stronger. 10 to 20% isn't great. He's my last line of defense, so I think I should probably... I have no talent points. I am talentless. I have nothing, nothing to, to apply ranked and I can do custom so I can make the hero stronger gold gains low or high the master's life lower motivational losses are are higher easy medium hard interesting that it keeps gold in the middle for for a hard playthrough there's twitch streaming uh, modifications I actually don't really know what those are or would be it seems like he had a lot of health. I'm going to lower the motivation thing a little bit. Is there an in-between? No, there's not. It's either just strong or neutral. I'll boost things the tiniest bit. I'll get a little extra experience. Maybe I'll regret it. Maybe I'll get just decimated. But that's... We'll try it out. The Adventurers in Week 1. Stronghold, rewards, all that. Preparation. So this is where I get to look at the heroes and get to lay out my traps and, and what have you. 
We have Volcrum, another warrior type. What does it say? What like type? Barbarian. Barbarian. Uh, Shapel, the priestess, and Riza, the apprentice. Priestess has more health than I would have expected. Oh, everyone has one, like, attack and one skill? I guess? Because, uh, whatever this thing is that you attack with is in the square, so that it's hard. I can't hover my mouse over it because it goes away when I do that. So look at front, his, like, picture of a sword. That is the actual skill, like, attack he's going to be using. And then the circular one with, like, the guy screaming, that's the skill. So that is something that seems kind of, uh, passive. So it's something to take into consideration, but it's not immediately going to be used against me. It's just the hanging bodies and buckets of blood, but then also a nice frothy beer. I feel like someone was just having, like, a good hangout. Just a good old-fashioned torture session. And then some heroes came busting in and they went and scrambled away. Ruining his good time. So, the buzzsaw hurts them, but also applies bleeding. Rallying horn, minus morale, and applies enraged to the next group of monsters. Minus morale and demoralized, which means that they'll continue to lose morale. And poison dart which means that they're going to be taking damage every turn. I do like the idea. There's something fun f fun for me as a dungeon keeper to <laughs> to demoralize enemies the second they run in. That seems very satisfying. And I get to see that there's two different uh trap placement rooms actually. Oh, and I have a different pool of monsters to choose from here. I really wasn't expecting that. So I have a goblin, an orc, a yetigo, so it's like a yeti windigo, and the skeleton archer. I do kind of like having archers. He has a lot of poison-based things, so I'm going to stick mandible at the back. The animations and art in this are so cool, actually. I love the way he's got, like, ooze frothing from the mouth. That's dope. This guy, 50 ice damage, the bleeding, and he applies uh, negative morale. Uh, I think I'm just gonna stick the the big guys up here, right? He attacks the guys in the front. He attacks the back. I think that works out. Get a couple big boys backed up by an archer. See, now I want to apply poison, I think. Although, the rallying thing is pretty cool. And I could commit. I could really commit to the negative morale. And maybe I'll chase them out of there. Might be overthinking it. And raids will be applied to them. I do not understand the spell room. It, it just skips over them when it comes to them. Do I not get to choose the spell I want to use? Duvis, the skeletal, skeleton magus, a, a ghost, a harpy, a boarman, and a gargoyle. Ooh. I do like the gargoyle just by nature of it being very cool. Borok does a lot of damage. I like the boarman. He's neat. Uh, this says air damage to everyone, applies three haste to monsters in front of her, so it might be worthwhile to put her in the middle. That hurts everyone. Oh, he has two options of actual attacks, it seems like. Minus morale, I've already kind of used that. The fire damage thing was really strong. I'm going to stick the harpy in the back and Harith in the middle there. I'm probably overthinking things otherwise. And now, uh, okay, it's all ready. The minus morale. That's just kind of a big F you when you first walk in the dungeon. You just get skulls chucked at you? Jeez. The apprentice's skill looked really neat. He's going twice. I think I'd like to call some horse shit on that. Oh, I got choices. I got choices here. So, the poison arrow is going to only attack the back person. Or there's a toxic volley that attacks everyone. And it applies poison times two at the start of each fight. So she only gets to do her skill once. 12 damage to the monster with the lowest ice resistance at the start of each fight. Maybe I should have looked at their, like, resistances. He is quite nature resistant, but the other two aren't particularly. I'll do a volley. I'll apply it to everyone. Man, the lengths that were put into making individual animations for every enemies or every monster and heroes, enemies, whatever we're going to call everyone, their, for their individual skills is really, really cool. Ice damage at the back, ice damage and applies slowed, 
No, I'm gonna go for the ice block at the back there. Just chuck that straight at their head. Oh, they have good ice resistance. Most of this team does. He's the only one who doesn't. Wow, they took him out so easily. I guess in general these heroes are notably stronger because the other one was just like a tutorial. But, oh shit! I didn't know that I could attack both people. That's brutal. I didn't expect to get so goddamn roughed up throughout this. Skill, spell, all right, you get to choose in the moment. So I guess you can adapt a little bit more. Fire whip applies burn. Oh, it's only to the front. Show no mercy, enrage to the next group of monsters. I should already have that from using my rallying guy and intimidation. Minus morale applies terrified. Morale taken from attacks and traps increased by 50%. I'm going to intimidate because I think I maybe need to try and chase one of these guys out of here maybe. That was cool the way the chandeliers swung after the big bellow actually. An immediate attack. Good thing none of you guys have bad ice resistance. Everyone ha was able to hold their own at least a little bit there. 78 air damage and tiredness. And air damage to everyone and applies haste to monsters in front of her. I do kind of like the idea of applying something to, to my two boys here. Reshuffle the order a little bit in our favor. Nightmare minus morale to everyone. Or I can just bleed the front guy. So let's do nightmare then to try and get everyone... Everyone a little extra wigged out while we have those morale bonuses. It's really tough to chip away at morale. You have to really commit to it, because it really does not seem like I'm going to effectively pull that off, does it? Physical damage, broken armor by three. Or I can do uh, less damage with a chance to stun. Can't attack during this turn. Well, I'm going to use the broken armor. Do a wild strike against this guy. Shatter his armor. That did not do any damage? Certainly didn't do much. Alright, we've done Nightmare. I guess I could just try and shatter their morale even more? But I feel like I'm probably a little bit better off. Ah, it does hurt everyone. We'll do Nightmare again. Nightmare was actually quite strong. So it hurts everyone and there's the morale de uh, deduction, <laughs> I believe is the word I was looking for. And a Whirlwind you. Now you're going to be super morale laden, you're bleeding, you have no armor, you're tired as heck. Oh, I was hoping he could live through one more. Damn. Damn, guys. I did make things hard. I am reflecting on that choice now and wondering if maybe it was the best. Well, definitely, definitely I should be killing the person in the back. 40 morale. Ooh, hoo -hoo. okay, so challenge... The guy in the front, I can send him home. He's cut. These barbarians, for being big, tough, burly guys, they really are terrible at sticking out these these fights, aren't they? So I think, damn, I have no good way to attack specifically the back. Uh, ensla enslavement is my only option, but then they'll be bleeding after that, so that, that finished them off. That was exactly what I was looking for. Shit! That lightning damage, what's my, like, lightning, or is it air, perhaps? It does air damage, and I do not have air resistances. So my only real option is to try and whip you to death. Uh, it's funny that they are just kind of on their knees like that. There's something, something a little bit strange there. That was kind of dicey. That was quite tough, actually. Uh, protected the treasure. Uh, you get some gold. Heroes scared tears. He gathered their sweet, sweet tears. Fill me up a pitcher and, and put it in my coffee. And killed blood gathered from them. Oh, I probably only get to choose one of these, actually. That's a guess. Maybe I get all of it. All of it. Uh, I have the Blizzo. Blizzo the Ice Elemental. I'd almost pick him just because I think his name is super funny. I think I liked the Rallying Horn. I think I'm going to take the gold. Yeah, I only get to choose the one thing. I don't know what gold is for, but I would like more of it. As you could probably it. guess, dying isn't the nicest experience. Fortunately, our Lich Doctor is here to resurrect That's your really employees for free. However, being dragged back to the land of the living after a taste of eternal peace can be quite demotivating. If your employees die too often, 
they might suffer from burnout. Interesting. So do I have to, Your employees have to keep things alive? Is therefore a matter to be taken seriously. Give them a break from time to time by sending them to the garrison. The feasts organized after a victorious defense will make them want to get back into action. I'm going to guess that most battles are going to end at the final keeper, the big guardian. And so everyone else is going to die, but you just can't reuse them endlessly. So motivation, is that I, I, could, I could choose who to motivate? Or everyone is being motivated? <laughs> I have employees 9 out of 12, traps 4 out of 6. The team management allows you to choose in which room your employees will be deployed during the preparation phase of each dungeon. Employees killed lose 2 motivation. If an employee's motivation drops to 0, they will go and burn out for 10 weeks. That's a lot. They gain 3 motivation back when they stay in garrison during the defense of a dungeon. So they usually have five. No, okay, they, they have varying, varying motivations, actually. This guy, like, he only has five, but he has seven. So you got to play around with that a little bit. And no, any one of them could survive this next thing without burning out. So I, I don't have the need to send anyone to the garrison currently. I did like... Do you know what? I'm going to send a few. I'll send some of them. Oh, room one, room two. I just realized what that meant. Removing doesn't mean get rid of him forever. I just kind of feel like he wasn't that exciting, so you can take a seat. I'll, I'll might as well allow him to rest up. I'm noticing now that they all have levels, and that's very intriguing to me and makes me think that that could become important. You can attack the back and the front, front, back, back. So I do need someone who can still attack the front. Uh, you know what? Urgug, you can you can take a rest up as well. And my as for the traps, you don't have to worry about any of the traps. The traps are fine. They keep themselves going great. Do I only get to choose one of these? Spend some gold and upgrade active traps. Spend some gold and train your active monsters. Or an event, deal with office troubles. And the business work environment for better or for worse. Let's upgrade traps. Ah, uh, good. I'm not necessarily locked into this decision. But I did, I do think I like this. Extra morale lost. Uh, but the enraged is the same. Extra damage done. The bleed is the same. Extra morale demoralized for one extra room. More damage done. Poison for one extra room. I would like to upgrade Bone Catapult. I think that that was a good one. I did only get to do one thing. I was quite curious about that. The Alchemist. Transmute blood, tears, or gold into another resource. Well, I don't even know what to do with those currently. Oh, shit. You're still hurt? Plus nine life per week? That's it? I thought he would recover so much more than that. I want to do an event. I want to see what the events are all about. Journeyman Trainer. By chance, you meet a tamer traveling through the region and looking for some work. The traveler offers to train one of your employees at half price per one level. It has to be that guy, which is random, but sure. I'll take a, a $50 upgrade. That seems quite worth it. The Merchant. Buy a monster or trap from this unscrupulous merchant. I probably have enough currently. Plunder. Send three volunteers to plunder the place of your choice. Ooh, which means they might be tied up. I might not have them. But they probably don't risk their uh, motivation. Or I could do another event. I just did an event. I don't see another plunder coming up. Three? Three guys, though? Let me take a look. How many How many do I got here? How many do I need? I could... The guys who are in the garrison, maybe. They, maybe they could go. So, plunder. Do I get to choose? Please let me switch. I think I'm stuck with those being the volunteers. Dang. I wasn't expecting that. So there's a feudal castle, gold gain, and extra volunteers. Risk of injury, 75%. One volunteer, three weeks. Oh, so I would only have to send one of these guys. One volunteer, three weeks. Upgrade a trap. And this one is just a lot of gold for 10 weeks. <laughs> 
Uh, I say extra volunteers seems pretty good. Upgrade a trap for free. I'll send, I'll send Urgug. He was out there. If he risks injury, there's a chance he could like die out there maybe. And then that would hurt his motivation. Whatever. He was in the garrison anyways. Your volunteers have forced an engineer to make a trap for them and to serve as a guinea pig for the trap. Test results highly conclusive. They have brought a researcher back who has been spared in exchange for a trap upgrade. They've emerged unscathed. So I don't even get to choose which one. But this is awesome because the upgrading it from level 1 to 2 was one of the more expensive trap upgrades. So presumably upgrading to level 3 would be even more expensive. Getting that for free is quite nice. So I get that immediately. But it said it would take like three weeks. I got it immediately, but he's still hanging out in the garrison. I thought he would be away for three weeks. Whatever. We'll prepare for the next round of, of the adventurers coming on in. Obviously, I'm putting down the bone catapults now that I've upgraded it numerous times. Ah, dang. I don't like a room that starts with monsters. That's a little bit of a bummer. Well, this is how I'm planning to sort them out anyways. I should look at who's what and what they do and what they're good at. Ice resistant, ice resistant, ice prone? <laughs> What's the word I want? Randomly moves all monsters to another position at the start of the first fight. That's brutal for me. That sucks. I don't like that at all. I almost think I should purposely randomize my guys in the hopes that he puts them back how I want. Let's do it. That sounds like a funny a funny gamble to take. We'll see where things end up. Maybe maybe random like I don't know if there's anything in the game forcing random to mean new. They could randomly end up in the same position. That's hard to say. Heals 50% of one hero's maximum life after a fight. Oh god, Valra, you elf. I gotta try and take them out quickly. And the thug. The thug. Who looks like, I don't know, some mix between Zoro and like the Princess Bride and, and Daredevil. He's got some things going on there. But for arms, he has one thing. Singular. <laughs> Trap. Obviously, I'm using the Bone Catapult. 20 morale. Four demoralizings. So that, would, that should last the rest of the rooms. It's the hopeful part there. The Rallying Horn. Yeah, shit on their morale a little bit more. And now I honestly don't know. At the start of the first fight, so I don't think he would randomize this one, so I can, like, consider that again. I liked Harith. He was really cool. I want him back on the team. Just, I guess I could just try and demoralize people like crazy. I don't really have any sort of damage-absorbing brutes up front there, so, like... I'm a little bit concerned about that. He just got, he's got that big gold chest behind him there. It's just open, waiting to be taken. I feel like he's doing that to taunt people. Holy shit, it worked! They ended up in the order I wanted them in. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm a genius. So that attacks the back or the front. I'd rather, I'd rather poison this guy. Well, what's his poison resistance actually? 20. So he has some. We'll poison him. Might as well get in there. Try and stick him real good. That guy's just not going to last whatsoever. 10%. Uh, most of you have pretty good poison resistance, actually. Especially him. And poison arrow attacks the back, so I'm better off doing toxic volley. Like, I might as well try and pile on to some of these other guys if he's just going to resist it anyways. That blows! Fire damage to everyone. I keep forgetting to, like, keep an eye out for shit like that. Who has... Oh, okay, you can attack the back. Yes? Oh, ice block that bitch. That guy's really strong. So if I can do something that's a little extra damage to him, absolutely, absolutely. That's what I'm going for. Toxic volley. Sorry, bud. You're gonna... He just turns into a puddle after. That's really funny. You're not gonna live. I'm sorry. That's the way that it goes. That's what you signed up for. Actually, it says you volunteered. So yeah, I think I think that is legit to say you signed up for this. The thug is not holding up well. Burning whip, 60 damage. I could kill the front row guy. I like keeping an eye on like what are definitive results I can get right away. 
Um, show no mercy, enraging the next room. I already have that guy who's going to accomplish that. And minus morale. Their morale has not been particularly stunted. <laughs> so I'm going to go for the, the burning whip and, and take that guy out right on the spot there. That's such a funny weak... Such a weak ass, lame ass thing. Did they kill him, I wonder, as they run by? Or they just they just choose to ignore him? So, spectral thing attacks the back, which I think I do want. I might need to abandon morale damagings. It's very, very hard to chip away at their morale in so few rooms. So I'm going to demoralize him and try and dish out some damage. Maybe we can actually take that guy out. Air damage, bleeding up front, or... Okay, nightmare. It affects everyone. And we can do a little bit more to chip away at morale. Now that they're so demoralized, minus 20 morale per turn for him. Minus 10 for her. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, honestly. Minus 12 morale to everyone. I could really commit to the whole morale thing. Or I could kill this guy. He does have really high resistances. When does he get to go again? It's a while before he gets to go again. And so I'm less concerned about that right now. I'd rather do Fear of the Dead. The way his head pops off when he does that is quite funny, actually. Ooh, what was that that you just applied? Elemental weakness. All resistances reduced. Well, that's just absolutely brutal. Uh, I could really just take him out, I think. I think that's my best bet. That was kind of why I put off directing an attack at him earlier, as I knew I would have the chance to attempt to finish him off first. Alright, well, I can use sharp horns then. Dope. It's just cool. Just, the moves, everything just looks awesome. You're technically the back, so just vaporized. They didn't even make it to the big boss. And, did no one in that room die? Because then they're, they're not going to lose uh, their motivation, which is really awesome. So I get... Uh, I didn't scare anyone. So there is that incentive to scare off people instead of strictly killing everyone because the more you scare off the more tears you're going to get and we can try and invest that in something it remains to see be seen what exactly that is okay so this guy he attacks the front they both attack the front 30 ice damage and applies ice weakness 60 ice damage and has frostbite which is basically like having a burn he can also attack the front consumes the stacks of frostbite applied to the target but you have no way to frostbite i would need to combo characters like this together ice damage morale demoralized i like the ice skeleton better well ooh, he does have pretty well no health so there's that to consider as well i'm gonna i'm gonna pick him up i'll scoop him up maybe we'll try and shape him into something a little a little tougher so here's the results of, of characters specifically that changed motivations. So that anyone who lived that one dungeon, nothing changed. But these two for sure, for sure, for sure need to go on a rest. And those guys are, are charged back up. So I'm going to need you two to rest. I can stick... Where Where's my new ice guy? Oh, he's, he's here. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. Urgug, you're going to room one. It's funny that he's Wraith. You know, a type of ghoul or ghost or, or haunt or specter would be a Wraith. W-R-A-T-H. So the fact that he's a Wraith. It's like Ray. Your buddy Ray. But he's a ghost. He's a Wraith. <laughs> I think that's quite funny. Training? Let's try and train up a specific monster. Yeah. Yeah. I think Harith is dope. I think he's so cool. <laughs> so he can, he can gain some extra health extra speed and applies demoralized a passive skill to all heroes at the start of the gargoyles turn what are some of the other things i could i could be upgrading like this guy he has a new thing that uh physical damage dealt out to the front row Ooh, having dubious be able to attack the front and the back is pretty cool actually and extra health i'm going to invest in dubious I can probably upgrade more than one thing. I totally can. Just passively demoralizing things. That seems pretty useful overall. There goes like all my gold. But ah, seemed like a fun thing. 
inadequate resources. Oh, that's good. That's good that it warns you, like, don't, don't bother. You can't even afford a single thing that we have here. Two of your employees have been caught red-handed brawling like two elves for a hairbrush. Burn on elves. <laughs> you will be tough and suspend them for five weeks or threaten them with a pay cut to be sure it won't happen again. Oh, if I threaten, it demoralizes them. Okay, I was curious. I was curious what the penalty of that would be. I'm going to threaten them because I want to be able to use them right now. You know, I can't afford a course. An opportunity to send one of your employees to an intensive training course. Inadequate resources. We got this ghoul with like half his skull missing teaching him about shields and feet. <laughs> the thigh supplier. Oh my god. A supplier is offering you some human thighs to feed your employees at a discount price. It would greatly reduce your feeding expenses, and you know that the management would grant you a sweet salary bonus. I see no reason to refuse. Like, literally none. The alchemist transmute things into other resources. I don't know what blood and tears are for yet still. Understaffing. We got this glass-eyed rocket raccoon. He finally... He finally got that eye. <laughs> the R&D manager needs a guinea pig to test a new trap. He's asking you to provide him with one of your employees in exchange for some gold. Would I get you back? I don't know. I'm going to try it out. Ah, we'll see what happens. I almost forgot. The company owns several dungeons that need protecting. We only said teams when our specialists inform us that a group of adventurers are approaching. You will sometimes have the choice of several contracts. The more dangerous the heroes, the higher your bonus if you succeed. Thanks to the company's portal service, sending you to the other end of the world is a matter of moments. So I could maybe do the veterans, the rewards a bit more. They rank it as being harder overall. Is Volstag gone? That dude's gone. I'm not getting him back. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something to keep in mind. Do you know what? I'm kind of just trying to do a one-off look at things here. I say we go for the veterans. Why not give ourselves a challenge? We're already we're already playing it at a slightly harder difficulty, which meh, remains to be seen if that was wise or not. A uh, bone catapult right off the bat. If that's I, I should I should investigate a little bit more what you guys got going on. High ice resistances, decent air. A scholar, a scholar is new, I think. High fire resistance. Jumps once to a monster position behind the target if the target is killed. Oh, I think I did fight this guy once, and I think he killed two monsters by using that. He also has ice damage. Oh, it's the thing that attacks the someone with ice damage, whoever has lowest ice resistance. Those guys are tough. And the scout, which basically just shoots things and dodges the effects of the first trap. Oh, that's pretty handy to have as a hero. I would want that on my team. Urgug, you're going up front. I guess it doesn't really matter the positioning so much of where you guys go. Except for, like, you attack the front, the front, and the back. So whoever goes in the middle is least likely to get attacked. Is kind of how maybe I should plan for that. The guy with the highest health should go in the front because two guys can attack the front. I feel like that's the logic I'm supposed to be piecing together here. I think both of these guys are quite good. They have the same health, so I don't think it matters a whole lot. I just got to slap them down. Let's try something a bit different. 10 damage, not great. Minus 10 for the next two turns or poison what's your what's your stuff here nature resistance bad bad half decent so uh, i i feel like going the nature route is uh, the right call for a change i wonder if i should be using ice monsters if they would have a benefit or anything nothing really seemed to indicate that uh borok you can probably go up front and then you guys i loved having you they both have the same health. They're both upgraded. They're both level twos. So I think I just go ahead with that. See, look how look how all the treasure he's got just showing it off. Maybe that's motivating these guys, you know? Oh, it's funny, the pile of skulls still stays off to the side there. You know, they might, their morale might be to entirely ready to break. That did so much goddamn damage. 
And then all of a sudden they see all the treasure and they're like, no, this is what we came for. We got to stick it through. Air damage, you have okay air resistance. It's above zero. Or I could try to nuke your morale. I think I'm going for the morale nuke. Try and commit to that a little bit. The, the eldritchness of the tendrils and everything is very cool. Hypothermia uh, affects everyone. And two of you, two of you have good ice resistance actually. So attacking the front row person with the highest ice resistance doesn't matter a whole lot. So I'll try and go hypothermia for the whole group. Maybe using the ice guy wasn't great this particular round, especially considering you're kind of getting smoked. Oh no. Shit. I was worried that was going to happen. It really seemed like that was not going my way at all. Guess, guess I try and just scare. Pile, pile on the fears. And everyone hypothermic. That room went poorly. Like, both these guys are just toast for sure. It is the first room, but when I look at how little damage I was actually able to deal out there, it's not great. People are scared. People are now poisoned. Only the front. Only the front. I didn't realize that before. That's kind of... That dramatically affects things in my mind. I could enrage the next room. Or I could... There's no more traps, so intimidation doesn't seem to matter as much. You're poisoned as hell and... Morale. Oh, your morale sucks too. I'm going to enrage everyone, I guess. I like having the boost on my side. That bullshit first move thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. New passive skill. Demoralizes everyone at the start of the turn. That's great. And we're going to nightmare everyone because I think we can chase out the sorcerer, whatever it was, soon, if not this turn. Oh, get out of here. You must have, like, one left, right? Miranda, five. You got five left. That's bogus. I don't like that. You'll take the morale on, on the next turn. So, fire resistance, pretty weak. Fire column in the front, poor. Poor fire resistance. So, I'm going to blast her up good. Even though her morale is also, like, quite shattered overall. That was a lot. That was a lot that's piled up on her. And there's almost no reason doing anything other than... This guy, this guy's not great. The Borman, not my fave. Not a huge fan of that guy. I don't think he's... You're pretty much toast. Do I just take you out? Or do... You know what? There's... You got poison and stuff applied. I can pretty much just wait for that to do its thing. You're peacing out. Give me those tears. These guys are supposed to be the veterans. It's no biggie. Oh, please stay alive. I would be so ecstatic if you stayed stayed alive. Yeah, fireball in the back. Not quite gonna do it, hey? But I knew you were gonna drop, which gives me the opportunity to wild strike you. Yeah. So the, his limitation of only attacking the front is quite poor, but if you chip away at it like that... Oh, sick, I get an artifact. Miraculous pill. Burnout duration of monsters reduced by two weeks. Oh, du oh, burnout duration. I haven't had duration. So it goes from 10 to 8. That still is a long-ass time. Horn of Plenty. Fallen monsters have 15% chance to lose one less motivation. And Fang of Melinda. Demons attacks regenerate their life by 20% of damage dealt. Specifically demons. Are all of my guys demons? I don't know. So, like, that might be incredible. Oh, specifically demons. So it is that specific picture. As I, I've also seen the skulls and like ice beasts and things. Losing less motivation, 50% chance. That doesn't seem great. But it's level one. You can upgrade it further. Let's do the maybe less motivation lost. Because it's, it's the same thing as Darkest Dungeon, where you invest in a particular group of heroes to the point that they are inarguably your best ones. And then you kind of have to back them off because you overuse them. And it's and it's tough because if you invest too much in one particular group, then you get real screwed that way. So you guys, you for sure have to take a step back. Urgog, I guess you can hang out another, another round. Uh, I'm sticking you guys up. Because it's not worth keeping you in when you have less than three motivation to be restored. In my mind, at least, it's not super worth it. 
the engineer. I could actually afford that this time around. Or the doctor. Stick out your tongue and say, ah, maybe he healed up the slaveholder a bunch. That's kind of what I thought would happen. The occupational health officer has been called in to do some tests following your recent assignments. The doctor provides you with some basic medical care. 45 life healed. Training, working out. Some intensive sessions at the gym. A master has to stay fit. Oh, could I make him stronger? What are my options? You have the gym just for you. What are you going to train this time? Oh, it costs blood and tears to do this sort of stuff. I could boost his armor or I could boost his power. That costs quite a lot of blood. You know, is that max health or is that just recovering life? That's unclear. So I'm going to go with boosted power. It's not that expensive. 20 blood compared to the fact that some of these other ones are a little bit more expensive. Oh, I can do both. In which case, I'm going to do it. That was his max health. So that was pretty... The working out was pretty sick. Sell monsters in garrison that are no longer useful to you. Unavailable or injured monsters are of less value. I don't really have anyone I want to sell. I don't have an excess of guys. An employee has spilled a burning hot drink on you in front of the blood fame machine. Puck my luck. 50 damage taken. Oh god, that really sucked. That was terrible. Business trip. Choose an employee to protect the sales department during a business trip or I go and plunder things. I'll do the business trip since that's like new. Uh, I could send you out. The management would like to send one of your employees. It's the same thing. You will be compensated, of course. He would lose motivation. He's going to gain motivation? Mm, maybe it's because he is actively in the, the garrison right now. And so he would normally gain three. But it's minus one. So he's, he's going to only gain two at, at that point. I gain a shitload of tears. If I send him, I kind of like mandible. Or traps deal 20% additional damage and morale. That's a really cool artifact. It takes 10 weeks. I really do like the sounds of that. And you know what? You kind of haven't been great overall, Argog. I'm sending you out. I don't think I have a great team assemblage at this point. Like, I got a lot of injured guys, a lot of guys who are so-so. Yeah, I... Don't know if I should be doing things other than Bone Catapult. This is basically the same group. Oh, we got an elf in the back now instead. A lot of fire resistances, a lot of ice, mostly ice resistance. Don't bank on ice whatsoever is what I'm seeing. Poor nature. Okay, well, I, my only option here <laughs> is to use ice. So that's unfortunate. Maybe I can try and poison them and nuke their morale the tiniest bit. Things, decisions are a little quicker now. I'm a little more familiar with the types of uh, resistances and the types of attacks that these guys have. What specifically is maybe worth keeping an eye out on. Your nature resistance is so poor that I'm going to go ahead and attack the front. It does, it does specify. Of course it does. Borok, you're just there for damage absorption when realistically you two are, are my main boys. His fire resistance is insane, but he attacks the front and the back, so it's fine. So it, sh it literally will not matter. I'm glad I healed him up twice during those last couple weeks, because that was brutal the way he got additional chip aways at, at his health there. He got whatever sludge dumped on him. I hate that shit. <laughs> uh, air damage to the back. What's your air resistance like? great but 204 204 and and 228 you two have similar morales uh you can see here uh so this guy counts as like i don't know an orc he's a demon and he's like a skeleton anyways i'm gonna scare the front that seems good you already have it chipped away at a little bit more than anyone else you got a worse starting point of motivation try and try and pile that on as much as I can. Poison arrow goes to the back. Do I try and really... I like the volley. I like applying it to everyone. Share the love. Just spread that around, you know? Damn. 
You are so lucky you've lived that. Nivrar to health? That's nuts. Uh, pretty much everyone has good ice resistance. In the back has the best, so freezing breath. That, I feel like that logic makes sense. I've been really committing to it quite hard, and I've, I've been doing quite well. It's been, like, infrequent that they've actually reached the, the actual master. So I feel like that I'm doing something right. I'm making some sort of good calls here. I can't believe you're alive. You're so lucky that you get another turn as well. One health. I got so unbelievably lucky with that round that you guys stayed alive enough to be able to do those like extra extra skills and things yeah that already went better than it should have in like any regard you guys you guys should be very thankful i don't think i want to bother enraging i can intimidate everyone or i could burning whip the front no nah, intimidation wig everyone out get them all feeling Little club. I'm sad. <laughs> All the poison still applies in this room, which is quite great. Most of them don't really have poison anymore, though. They've almost worked through it. That's such a motherfucker of a first move. <laughs> I really do hate it. Nightmare, though. Since it, his opening thing is to demoralize, apply a little bit extra. And really get everyone down in the dumps. Everyone's. I have a bad day. Fire resistance, terrible, terrible in the back. Uh, so I'm going fireball in the back there. Try and take them out as quickly as I can. Between the poison and the demoralization, you're really getting messed up up front there. A chance to stun, hey? Because I don't, I can't do enough damage to finish them off. And I stun them. Can't attack. So they're getting skipped for one turn, which is generally quite helpful for me. Ooh, what do I want from you? This character is just like dying on their own. So I'm, I think I'm gonna do Nightmare and focus on demoralizing everyone a little bit extra. They're, they're stunned, they're poisoned, like they're just in rough shape, shit. I was hoping they wouldn't have like, obviously the smart thing for them to do in that moment was the, the thing that kills both of them, but I was hoping they wouldn't, you know? All right. Just no more morale. We're, we're chasing you straight out of there. I got an achievement run for your life. And it has a little times three on it. So I'm guessing it's something to do with like I've chased away three heroes. Yeah, literally just making three heroes run. I don't really want to focus on the attack. I want to attack everyone. Oh, and it applies bleed. So that'll be, that'll be a good one. That'll help that character die a little more slowly. Yeah, they're, they're toast now. Now I can just focus on whiplashing the, the front row here. That did so much more damage than I thought it would. Oh, you barely held in there. Do I challenge you? Oh, I was I was curious. I was curious if I could collect some more tears by challenging them and chasing them out that way. Didn't, didn't quite have enough for that. Pile of bones. A new trap, I'm guessing. Uh, it affects only the front. Minus 42 morale. Jumps to the hero position behind the target if the target is affected by demoralization. So, it really is helping spread around the the low morals. A furnace. Weak ass damage. I'm going to take the pile of bones. I like the sounds of it. <laughs> it's real cool. Really chic. Really fits my personal aesthetic. Wraith, I like it. Ooh, you can just right click for a quick a quick swap. I like you, but you uh you're definitely in need of a rest. I should invest in more guys. I've like sent a couple away. Oh, and he's yeah, he's busy with that. I like just straight up spent that one goblin. Merchant for more buy a monster or a trap. Yeah, ooh, look at these guys. Freyo, the skeleton dog, or Telnara, the succubus, or a poison-clouded toad. Well, I'm going to buy one of these at least, I think. 30 physical damage and applies bleeding, and passive, all monsters in the group gain enraged, en enraged at the start of a fight. And the succubus, 30 fire damage, 20 nature damage, applies poison, and passive. Attacks jump to the hero position behind the target if the target's armor is positive. I don't know how I would boost your armor then. I feel like I would have to 
do that somehow. What is renew? Oh, do you know what? It might bring up a new list of, of guys to choose from. I'm going to buy one of you up, and I'm going to try renew. So it works exactly like I thought it would. I already have one of these guys. He's not great. I already have rock art. Rock art the gargoyle. I have one of these, and I love him. So I don't really want a second one. And oil cauldron. Sure. You know what? Add, get some fire stuff in there in case I run into a group of adventurers that is terrible with fire. Opportunity to send an employee to an intensive training course. I'll do an event. I don't want to send anyone away right now. While walking through the corridors, you notice a monster waiting for a job interview. You could hire the candidate right now without intermediaries. So it's a, a cheap, cheap nugboo. So I can pick up Nugboo for, for quite cheap. I might as well, might as well do that. Another event. I like the events. <laughs> While wandering around in the corridor this morning, you come face to face with a human. He seems as surprised as you are. What are you going to do? Oh, you can get so much of any resource. Honestly, I scare people less often, so I'm going to take the tears while I can. We we took on the veterans last time. Keep that going. I... I think I'm just playing until I die. I don't know how long that's going to be. I kind of thought I would have died by now, if I'm being totally honest. Huge morale loss. Nah, I'm going to morale loss all of you. Pile of bones first? No, no, because you want, you want the demoralization to carry forward. It's not for rooms, it's for turns. I... I'll do the pile of bones. I'll do the pile of bones first and really layer it on to this barbarian. Chase him away, same as I have been doing. I got a ninja this time. He does nature damage to everyone. Applies poison to the monster with the highest life at the start of each fight. And damage and morale taken from traps reduced by 50%. That guy. The ninja is quite tough, actually. Uh, I'm going to throw Freyo. What do you guys attack? Front... Everywhere front. All right, so highest health guy in the front same as usual mandible. I love you. You're my boy Excited to see what you do Bone catapult as if you hadn't had enough bones thrown at you guys Nugboo. Oh, this is the new guy. I picked up you can you can have a front row seat there D yes <laughs> and Damn, I don't have... Without my gargoyle or anything, I don't have great demoralization options. I'll do what I can. Might just have to focus on killing things. I should have looked at their resistances, probably. They're all quite fire resistant, so I'm glad I didn't go... Or at least two of them are. That constitutes all. I'm glad I didn't invest in that. Motherfuck! What? That's some bullshit. That was cool. But I'm mad about that ninja. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Um. Intimidation, I guess. And then I want the trap to do a little bit extra. So he's real demoralized, but we're already in the second last room these guys sailed through everything my goodness is that only the start of the fight because that was uh to the high at the start of each fight so was that uh only in that room did he do no he did it now he did it now Sh shit <laughs> uh a tiredness damage dealt reduced by 30 why do I want that? What? I'm confused by whirlwind. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna gust people, I guess. Oh, come on with that. Fear the dead. I just have to try to commit to that a little bit, I guess. Wow, did not expect that to one shot Urgug or whatever his name was. Come on, you guys. That's terrible. I guess that's what I get for taking on the veterans when I'm still, like, basically learning the game. Look at him. Look at him grabbing his groin. Cocky-ass piece of shit this guy is. Who do you think you are? Eminem? 
just here to tear up the stage. Get out of here. Run away like the bitch that you are. Please don't die before he has the chance to run away. Yeah, get a scram. I would have been real disappointed if he managed, if all three of the men just stick it through, you know? That's so much poison applied. Oh, oh, I didn't realize he was so demoralized. I could have chased him away. I mean, I think I would have died that turn anyways. I would have, but I would have had one more guy chase away. You're fired. 19 weeks, five dungeons defended. Blood and tears, 90. Gold gathered. Employees slaughtered. Heroes defeated. So you do have a total score that you're working towards. Damn. That was pretty cool. A supporter pack. Exclusive content, you say? The supporter pack has the soundtrack, a dev book, HD artworks, and wallpapers. You also get a secret custom trap, skins for your monsters, uh, a different an, an art book, and you can play the Engineer Master two weeks before everyone else, and the full soundtrack. So there's the in-game soundtrack and the full soundtrack. But anyways, uh, that's like a cool way to, to expand your experience a little bit and give back to these developers. I'm quite impressed. I think the animations and artwork are outstanding. The strategy is pretty cool. It's like a fun spin on things. There is a lot of micromanaging to do, but at the same time, it's never felt overwhelming. And it's very easy when, oh, there's all these different resistances and skill types and passive and active skills, and they're gonna go before you and turn orders and speed, and then you have to defend it and you have to counteract things. You have to fold in traps and like, that can become so overwhelming so easily in games like this, and I thought the rollout of things and ability to quickly feel like you were brought into the fold of the game was incredibly well done. I was really, really impressed with that aspect. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Legend of Keepers out now, early access, link in the description if you want to check it out for yourselves. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.